Hello, I'm Ed Montgomery. They call me Dr. Ed. They call me Pastor Ed. There's so many terms people use. But the bottom line is that I am the director and founder of the Abundant Life Center, Abundant Life Cathedral. And we have been in existence for 40 years. Again, we say over 40 years. I've been a pastor for over 40 years. But we have served at the cathedral for 40 years. Doesn't seem that long. But some of you I've known for 20 years, 30 years, 35 years. And some of you feel like I've known my entire lifetime. So I want to say thank you for all of your service. And ALC has always been an innovator when it comes to church or uh, having church services or worship, however we do things. We've always been, what I like to say, five years ahead, eight five to eight years ahead, sometimes 10 years ahead, to the expense, extent that people think, oh my God, you're, what's wrong with you guys? I'll never forget when we first started, we started doing um, dance in church. We started doing um, some African type of dances. We started doing dances that we saw from the A Alvin Ailey uh, New York Dance Company, modern dance, and we put it to Christian music. People thought we were just going to hell. I mean, they, they said, you're going to hell. But you know what? The more we did it, the more people celebrated it. And after a while, churches all over the city and even all over the nation began to create dance companies. And you see them everywhere. We've done animation. We have done uh, television in ways that television was not even used. And I could go on and on and on. But we've always been upfront about it, even with our music and our records and our albums. And it looked like these people are crazy. But sometimes you got to realize you're going to be ahead of your time. Some of you are ahead of your time. We might just be the place you need to be. That's what ALC is. That's what we believe church is. That church is not a building. Church is not a space. But church is people. It's about building better people and that's what we're into helping people to pursue their purpose grow their faith and to enjoy the journey this is what i believe is the future of the church it is community it is partially in buildings partially out of buildings it is coming showing up but at the same time it is global we will have a congregation that will be in-house and also online. We're not going to be beating up people for not. So, in other words, this is what church is going to be, especially after post-COVID. It's going to be an expansion beyond. We also believe that church is going to be about reteaching some things. Not reteaching a religion that suppresses, but reteaching things that will impress, inspire, and lift. Third, we're understanding that uh, we have to learn how to get along in the world that we're living in, but we don't have to get along or just go along to get along. We don't have to suppress who we are or our uh, understanding of ourselves, our image of ourselves in order to get along with other people. It's time that we began to speak up and speak out and to speak to our young people about who they are so that they can learn to work together, but not from the angle of, well, just, just kind of keep it low so we don't offend nobody, but where they can be themselves and learn to be accepted for who and what they are. You can create the world you want. We often don't want to tell people that. But you can create your own world. You can create the kind of world that you can love living in. Listen, I'm not a spring chicken. Nope, by no means. But I want to make sure that whatever time I have left, that I'm using that time to pour into younger minds, younger thoughts, younger principles. Young, not just young people, but young people can be 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. They're younger than me. But we're pouring these things to where you will begin to think spiritually in a way that will keep you lifted. 
You won't feel pushed back and pushed down. So we're going to be in Katy. Look on our website. You'll uh, the address. If it's not up now, will begin to appear. We're not open. Uh, I'm not going to say we're not open yet because by the time you get this video, we might be open. But uh, just follow the instructions on the screen, and they'll let you know what to do. Uh, you can always uh, make reservations or let us know that you're coming. Uh, watch the information you're going to see on on this website, mylc.org. Follow the instructions and you'll know what to do. Look, I believe that our best years are ahead of us. And I tell people all the time, you say, well, I live well on the other side of town. We don't have to go to church every Sunday. But you can be a part of us anyway. You can still this can still be your home church. There's some of you who used to go to ALC. This can still be a home church. I encourage it. I'm telling people it's time to come back home. You may attend over there, but you can still make this part of your home. This is your home church. Now, in order to keep it as your home church, you got to make sure you give something every month to give something to keep that flow going because we got to keep this information out. This is what you've been looking for. Now, I'm looking for you. You looking for me? That's what we're after. All right? All right.